Hi and welcome to my studio. We're going to be learning some individual wax designs and if you're not familiar with the wax technique come on over and check out this link and it'll teach you all the basics you need to know. I'm going to show you how to do a rosebud. We've done the little rose and a big rose so now we're going to kind of do a rosebud and this one I'm going to draw on. I think it's just easier for you when you first do it. So we're going to draw one line going this way, and one going this way, and one coming up, and one coming up there. Now remember, your lines are just a basic idea. If you don't um, go over them, it's not a big deal. Just get rid of them and go with your wax design. That's just fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull a stroke. And it doesn't matter which direction you go on this to start the top of the rows. And we're going to pull it one direction. And whatever direction you pulled it from, flip it over and pull the opposite. So we have that going that direction. Now I'm going to switch up tools here. And I'm going to go to a bigger tool. Then uh, what I use there, and just depending on the tool size, it's going to depend on how big you want your rows to be. So I'm going to go ahead now and pull this rows up here. Starting at the bottom, pull it up on both sides. And right there. Okay. Now that's basically all that we're going to do with our red. And we're going to go ahead and put our green in and you can decide what color of green you want. It can be the yellow green or the green, it doesn't matter, or another color. So my first one stroke is I'm going to put it right at the center of that and lift that to make a sharp point if you can get it there. And we're going to pull one down the opposite direction making our stem. And then we're going to pull one up the side. And the other side. Now, to give it a little leaf, you could set this guy and just lift him so you have a fat little leaf right there. Now, this is a bigger one than I normally do. So it, to me, looks like it has open areas right here. And this is where I want you to start thinking about how you can fill things in. So you could come and fill that area in with another stroke kind of like that. And start thinking about how you could do a tulip as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rows with, I'm going to pretend that my yellow green is yellow because I don't have my yellow warmed up right now, and put descending dots in there to make the center of the rows. And that is how we do a little uh, rose bud. I hope you enjoyed our little video for you today. If you did, give us a thumbs up and we ask that you hit the share button and share it on Facebook or other media. And for any of our products, please visit MiriamJoy.com. And thank you and God bless.